Hi everybody, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Dan Pizarski, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at LiveView. Today, I'm very excited to be here and introduce the newest addition to the Solo Creator Universe, Solo Stream Tools. The Solo Creator Universe is our highly curated collection of the best tools, solutions, and services that easily operate together to deliver the most powerful user experience for live video creators. So what is Stream Tools? Solo Stream Tools is the newest addition to our Solo portal. It's a subscription-based cloud service for your LiveView Solo or Solo Pro device. This all-in-one service enables you to customize your live streams, add fallback slates, and simultaneously share your live streams across different online platforms. It offers a unified, real-time workflow toolbox for super fast streaming production directly from the Solo portal. This is a perfect fit for production houses, videographers, houses of worship, educational institutions, IRL streamers, you name it. Anyone who needs to go live to audiences across multiple platforms, Stream Tools would be another useful tool in your live toolkit. Now let's dive into some of the really cool features. Starting off, everything in Solo Creator Universe uses built-in LRT, live use protocol for delivering high quality video to wherever it needs to go reliably. In this case, we're using the Solo Pro, which can bond up to six IP connections, whether that's modems, ethernet, or Wi-Fi. This gives us a rock solid, reliable live stream. Stream Tools allows you to visualize your brand identity by easily adding your brand's logo or other graphics. This allows for expanded monetization opportunities by adding a sponsor logo, an ad, or other graphics directly onto your live broadcasts. Stream Tools also offers multi-destination streams, allowing you to send your content to multiple social platforms or other RTMP destinations without the need for third-party software or producing broadcasts per platform. And lastly, Stream Tools comes with one of our most important features added to the Solo Portal, having a fallback screen. Easily upload a fallback slate to Stream Tools and it will save your stream from going down should your camera battery go dead, your unit battery go dead, or anything else interrupt your live production. Now let's dive in and take a closer look. I'm gonna use this Solo Pro with two modems connected to it. It's already registered in my Solo Portal account and I've already purchased Solo Stream Tools for it. So Stream Tools is already available to me. I can, however, turn Stream Tools on and off on a per stream basis when I need it versus when I don't. In this case, it happens to be off at the moment. I'm gonna turn Stream Tools on for this stream I'm about to do. Then before even I set my destinations, I'm gonna configure some of the features of Stream Tools by clicking on Stream Tools Control Panel. That will bring me to this control panel where once the stream started, I'll be able to see a full preview as well as a VU meter and control the volume of the stream. But first I'm gonna click on configure settings and set up some of my Stream Tools features like the logo. Here it says upload new logo, I'm gonna click on that, upload the live view logo as uh, what I wanna include here, move that to where I want it on the stream. And if I need to resize it, just drag on one of the corners there to resize it. Once I have it positioned where I want, sized where I want, just click add logo to add it to my stream. Very similar process for uploading a fallback slate. Just click upload new slate, upload the image that I want, and then add that to the stream. So now that our stream tools is all configured, I'm gonna set up my multi-destination. Click on select new destination, and the first one I'm gonna choose is a Facebook Live destination. I'll do a new post called showing off stream tools. And I'll choose my normal Facebook options of who that's going to. But I'll put it on my test page. Just like I normally would even before Stream Tools, all the same options in terms of setting up a destination. But what's different with Stream Tools on is now that I have one destination set up, I click select new destination and instead of replacing that one as it would have previously done, now when I pick another destination like an SRT output, it's gonna add it and you'll see that I have both destinations set up. So now with two destinations set up and my control panel all configured, I can go live mostly as I normally would. You do need to go live from the solo portal so that we can send the cloud commands to the Stream Tools engine as well. You'll see a new progress bar there that shows the process of starting the Stream Tools engine itself. You might wanna leave yourself a few extra seconds at the start of a stream so that we can start up the cloud resources to run that Stream Tools engine. And then whenever that's ready, it'll say Stream Tools engine running and the progress bar will go to 100%. So 
So now that the engine is started, I see it says Stream Tools engine running. I click Stream Tools control panel here and I get a couple of uh, new features not previously available. One is a preview, which is not coming in at the same quality of the full live stream. It is a 720p15 preview currently, but I can see the preview of the video. And if there was audio in my stream here, I would see the VU meter moving as well to show me what audio is. So I can monitor both the video and audio, which wasn't available before. I also get this volume slider, lets me actually adjust the audio as it passes through the engine. So if I need to boost the audio that's coming in from the camera, or if I need to reduce it a little bit, I can use that volume slider to do that. Lastly, it's mirroring mono audio into stereo automatically. So anytime we feed Stream Tools mono audio, I get stereo audio back out. A couple of little smaller features we didn't highlight, but are still key features in the Stream Tools toolbox. Today, we're very happy to introduce some exclusive introductory offers to Solo and Solo Stream Tools. You can subscribe to one month of Stream Tools and receive an additional month for free. Today, if you subscribe to one month of Stream Tools in the Solo Portal, you will receive $115 rebate towards the second month. This could be used for Stream Tools or for any service on the Solo Portal. This offer will be valid until December 31st, so act fast. In addition, you can get our LRT subscription service free for one month with any solo purchase and get your $250 off loyalty discount for existing LiveView solo users who purchase a new Solo Pro. You can also receive 5% off all your services when you use your reseller's promo code, so make sure to ask them for the promo code. And lastly, we also have a special Black Friday offer coming up on LiveView Solo Pro, so keep an eye out over the next couple of weeks so you can take advantage. Before we go, we'll answer some questions. What is the pricing and how does it work if I already have LRT? Stream tools, like all of our services that are an upgrade from LRT, are inclusive of LRT. When we say it's $115 a month, that is includes the LRT and you don't pay a separate $45 per month. If you already have an LRT subscription and you th then um, subscribe to Stream Tools, it will upgrade your subscription from LRT to Stream Tools and it'll prorate whatever you've paid already for that month so you'll never lose a dollar. Is there any plan to add more to Solo Stream Tools or the Solo Portal in general? Absolutely. We see Solo Stream Tools as a toolbox of features for a single camera stream and we plan to add more features to that toolbox as time goes on. When we get a little closer to final plans on what the next features will be, we'll make that announcement and they're all going to be available for the current price of 115 and future features won't necessarily change that price. This is cloud software after all, so the advantage is we can make more features available in the cloud and it won't change your needs in terms of how you interact with the uh, stream tools or have to download more software to a laptop or anything like that. What happens if I have multiple LiveView Solo units using stream tools? Today, you will need an individual subscription per solo unit. That's basically a limitation of the way subscriptions are built into the Solo Portal today. And over time, we do intend to change it for Stream Tools so that you'd be able to have a more account-based subscription. If you happen to be a multiple Solo Unit user today, reach out through the support channel and we'll be able to help you get it set up for all of your Solo Units. If I was a user of the beta today, can I still take advantage of the second month rebate offer being made? Yes, you can. If you're already signed up for Stream Tools and you were already using it as part of our limited beta, we'll make sure that you also get the second month free rebate as part of this offer and reconcile every person who was a member of the beta. Again, if there's any other questions, put them in the live chat or in the solo user group on Facebook and we'll try our best to answer everything that we can. Thank you so much for watching and happy streaming.